Got Chad putting some tape on the phone. Hi, Chad. Wowie zow. Going up. All right, so we taped those off so foam shouldn't get in there now. Just have a few more to do over there, huh? One, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Chad counts as well as I do. It's good to know that it does end right there. It doesn't go to the end of the cap. This is correct. Cool, 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 cool. Cool story. All right, well, there they are. Chad just has to do one more modification on that one. But the rest of them are laid out here. It's just going to be that one right there. Front end gets a little bit narrower. So I got them all laid in. We're gonna put a screw. I'll use a uh, tapering bit so I can put that screw down in there. We're using, the, I don't even know what size these are. I don't even know what size these are. And those will go through. Hold that down. <clears throat> then we can actually put two more down on each side if we want to. I mean, I'm just walking on the frames right now, and it's definitely a lot better. I won't deny there's a jack underneath right there, supporting the middle. So we'll see once this is all said and done, if this works. We'll know for sure if I don't make, if I don't post a video on it. Should be able to see the wood down in there. Man, first time I got that. Nice. Only 18 more to go. But who's counting? I mean, I am. Chad is. You've got about, you've got a battery for your radio, Chad. I do? No, you said you forgot one. Why are you making this so difficult, Chad? Nice. Let's get these things foamed in now. You expect me to have thought this through? Yeah. This smart one up to us. That doesn't add up. Or it doesn't bode well for us. Doomed. <laughs> doomed indeed. It's quite the gun you got there. Alright, so now here's the plan. Before we put the deck on, we're going to use that uh, expanding foam adhesive to glue the steel to the foam. We'll let it set up overnight so we don't run the risk of popping the foam too soon. Because you know I will. You know, Chad, I learned about this by... Uh, watching YouTube. You know, the guys in Georgia use expanding foam adhesive. And there's a family in Idaho doing their off-grid house and their SIP, uh, their SIP construction. Yeah. You actually use like spray foam in that gun to stitch the foam together. It's really weird. Stitch foam together? Yeah, because it's basically a big foam, fiber, uh, foam roof just like this. With OSB on each side. All right, make sure you point it at my tool bag, though. Okay. Hey, the good news is we have a place to dump extra spray foam right there next to the other spray foam. What do I know? I mean, yes, of course. That's the adjustment for it. You coming up here? I'm sure. Not sure. Not sure? My guy, my guy not sure. That's a dangerous one, huh? You want me to do it? No, I just want to. How much do we have in here? A lot more than that. A lot less than that. Don't. Don't. Oh, careful. Chad, careful. Oh, careful. Look at all that. This has got to work.
I didn't go the right way. Screw me. You know what we should probably get? Huh. Clamps. See, Chad, that's how it's done. That's that's how the manual says to do it. Yeah. We're following the manual. Yeah. We're almost done. We have to put one more little brace around the top. I think it will work. All right, so we got that rib rolling across right there, getting us the uh, downward pressure, and the uh, that board right there under uh, jacks lifting up, putting upward pressure there. The only part that's a little bit down is right here. This foam is definitely below the rib there. So I got Chad on the inside. He's going to try to push up the ceiling right here. It's just there's a slide out. Let me see the slide out topper right underneath us. So it's hard to get anywhere. Let me poke my head in there, see what Chad's doing. Something I shouldn't be doing? No, then I won't show that. Okay. Yes. Ooh, it's going up. Ooh, it's going up. If you can. A little bit more. Come on. All right. That's substantially better. Good job, Chad. All right, well, there was the uh, next step, getting the uh, support back in there. So now we just have to put the deck back on. We'll let this uh, glue hold up, and then uh, we'll be ready to do this. There was the next step. I'm not saying we're making this up as we're going along, but nobody told us how to do this. I didn't get foam all over me. <laughs> not even a bit. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that it's expanding out like we'd hoped it would. So it's filling the gap. Yes. I have a difficult time not wanting to touch that and clean it up. I mean, some might say it should have a little bit of a crown on it, but... But Winnebago didn't want it, so I guess it doesn't need it. All right, so you can kind of see right here that we supported the roof still and uh, lifted up that side right there to put, I wouldn't say there's a crown back on the roof, but brought the foam back up to the frame level there frame right there and now this adhesive should have stuck to the foam right there and do the steel kind of hold it in place now as we start rebuilding this uh, roof we're gonna leave this uh, support underneath so that we can make sure that uh, it's supported as we're working it so hard and probably the last thing we'll do is take that support back out Well, here it is after uh, setting up overnight. I think this is going to work, guys. The next step is going to take all these clamps back off, and we'll have to uh, put the deck down. Obviously, before we put the deck down, we have to clean off any extra little foam that's sticking out. But it seems like that filled the gap and glued everything down. So I want to make sure the, the foam... It was at least stuck to here so it's not free floating. That way when we glue uh, the deck back on, it's gonna grab onto here and then the deck will also grab onto here so it will be glued and laminated again to this foam. So the foam itself won't be loose. The uh, only other thing is we have to uh, clean up this to get ready for the deck to go on. And if you guys remember, the deck's gonna end right about there. So we'll have to put a, a guide strip on the side so that when we're putting the deck on, we make sure we put it exactly where we want it to be because it is contact adhesive and as soon as it touches, you don't get to move it anymore. All right, so I took that screw out and if I move the foam, the still support is also moving the foam. So that means we're bonded pretty well, Jane. It's sticky, sticky. Stuck, stuck, stucky. May not be a bad idea to shoot some in right there to hold that down, but 
I might be overthinking it. No, we can do that. Yeah. And you know, before we put this roof back together, I just got to thinking. I don't know if you guys can see this gap right there. I can put my finger in there. That's the AC vent duct right there. This is from the factory. So if air is blowing in here, it's going to be blowing all the way down those channels into all this wiring on the roof. It's really just losing a lot of cold air <laughs> into the attic. I mean, it's going to blow into the back of the cabinet there and get into the refrigerator vent over here. Normally, the seams are a lot better. But I don't know, maybe they're not as good as I thought they used to be. They used to have foam, like actual like uh, weather stripping, spongy foam and all those points. Maybe you don't get that on the mini winnies. Maybe you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. It's just dumb. Why would you do that? We'll try to uh, fill that gap too. That'll be the last thing we do before we put a deck on. All right guys, if you might remember, we are working with eight foot lengths of uh, four by eight paneling and this is about what 99 inches from side to side so we have to overlap just a little bit so we're just putting down this uh angle it's just a uh, one inch aluminum angle as a straight edge so we, we can butt up the paneling to it we don't have to worry about not having enough on the other side because we want to make sure that both sides end up right there so that'll be one side, and then uh, it'll land right about here on this side. Then we just have make some filler gaps, just to bring it even to the pylon. Now this is what we're going to be using here. It looks identical to 8th inch Luon, except it's 3 16th Luon. So it still has the three layers there. Uh, it's less rigid than quarter inch plywood. Quarter inch plywood will, will still warp pretty bad. This will take a curve really well. And lay down flat like i said if we step on it and it feels really uh really bad still we'll put another we'll laminate our own another layer of this on but this is just a four by eight three sixteenths lou on from the big box store it's nice to have a long bed truck long bed it's useful that's why you have a truck to be useful i don't know about these guys with short beds james yeah we decided that because this foam was so loose, we're going to glue it down before we uh, put the deck on. So I made some holes so we can get glue under there, get glue in here. Everywhere we can glue this thing back down so it's not so loose. Loosey goosey. Loosey goosey, they say. This piece where the back of the AC was Correct. weighted down. Alright, well, I'm just getting this stuff under there. Shooting it underneath as much as I can. Trying to do our best to... Glue this back up. There's a good chance I went a little crazy. I'll have to scrape some of that off, but once we put the, the roof on, or the uh, deck on, that'll hold that down tight, and then the foam will cure, and uh, we'll be golden. All right, guys, if you remember, there was a seam right there, right next to that seam. Maybe they're really weak right there. So we're going to make that the middle of the panel. There's a seam there and a seam there, because that seemed like the really weak part, especially where the AC was. Of course, the back of the AC is a heavy part. That's where we put the, the truss on the back. Uh, now it's more strong. Much more strong. Much better. So if you've watched any of my videos... Huh? Oh, just keep going, man. 183, stay on red, foam safe. We'll just be uh, putting glue on both surfaces and laminating it just like normal. It was boring. Almost there. We'll lay this one down and do a whole bunch more. Where that mark is. Well, looks like we hit our spot. 
Good thing we put that guide there. You roll it out. Feels a lot better now, huh? Oh, yeah, we have a deck parties up there now. Don't do that. <laughs> Not warranted for deck parties? Nice. Look at that. That screw is flush. Almost like we planned that. How's it feel, Chad? Better? Feels like it's pretty good. I think our plan is better than not doing this. Well, at that point, anything is better than not. Well, that's a nice thing. You can't make it any worse. Well, and just like that, it's done. I don't know why you don't do it like this more often, Chad. It's much easier not to do it in person. Huh? It's much easier to do this in an edit. Oh, I bet it is. It's much quicker. <laughs> much quicker. Still, <laughs> still take care where the sun's located. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's our deck. There's a little bit of a gap here. But I don't know that we're going to go any uh, higher than this. I can tell you it feels a lot better. I mean... All things considered, it's just styrofoam and paneling. And steel. And, and a lot of steel now. Oh, that's a doubled up piece. We were just seeing what kind of uh, clearance it would make on the front. And I think it won't work very well. On the uh, front right here, you can definitely see the, uh, the shadow where the trim goes. But if you look right here, Winnebago even makes an incredibly fine line to where that molding right there comes wrapping around right here so if you bring this deck up much higher than this that'll bring that molding up even higher so I'd prefer not to uh, go any higher with the deck than this that way we don't have to redesign the front wraparound and the rear wraparound because it'll be the same way but I think this is a much stronger roof now I watched Chad walk across it I don't feel like I'm gonna fall through right here anymore <laughs> There was fears before. <laughs> there was lots of fears before. Seems better. No parties up there still. Huh? No parties still. No parties. It's definitely rated for more than 50 pounds, unlike before. <laughs> well, there's at least structure now. All right, so now we just need to make some filler strips. Looks to be about an inch and a half will do it. Okay, I'll just roll this out. Okay, MetLife is. There we go. Just like that. We have filler strips all the way down. Looks great. Wonderful. Just one more side to go. The exact same thing. Just gonna be contact cement down. And uh, we'll just wrap over the top anyways. It's molding, which is right here. It's just mostly a spacer so that when the pylon on goes on, it doesn't get crushed and broken. All right, now with that, all the uh, the decking's been put on. So we went with, again, 3 16th slew on instead of the normal 8th inch. And I think walking on this thing, that feels like more than enough. Probably still could have got away with 8th uh, inch. But it does feel a lot better. Now to screw down those panels, we've got these uh, number 10 one inch long wafer head screws. These are gonna be where exactly what I want. So it does taper at the bottom, so it does recess a little bit, but it still has a, a washer head on it that's flat. Uh, if it's tapered the whole way on something that thin, it usually punches through and doesn't do anything. So with that wafer head or that washer head, I'll at least grab it. See how, how deep it will sink down at the uh, 3 sixteenths? We might have to grind it flush though. We'll find out. They might notice on these, I couldn't get these at uh, the normal big box store. I had to go to uh, a specialty store in Arizona. They're really good for uh, screws, bolts, fasteners, tools. That's Copper State Bolt and Nut Company. Not a sponsor. It, even if Chago stands right where the uh, AC would be, is right uh, there. Uh, he's moving the entire motor home. 
that's fantastic so I don't think we need to put another layer on I think this is gonna do it because we're just waiting for the phylon material to come in <laughs> hi Chad uh, the last thing we'll do before we put the phylon down is we'll grab a, uh, a belt sander and just sand the uh, the seams so that there's no little peak or anything on it you know, it's not necessary but it bothers both of us and we want it to be as nice as possible Look flat flat right there. all right do you want to try that again Nice. Fail. Fail. Fanning foam adhesive. And there's a family in Idaho doing their off-grid house and their SIP, uh, their SIP construction. Yeah. You actually use like spray foam in that gun to stitch the foam together. It's really weird. It's basically a big foam, fiber, uh, foam roof just like this with OSB on each side. And so there's channels and the foam has to fill the channels in between. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really have to shake it? Feel free to edit that out. I could, but Feel free to Does it say does it say shake? Does not all of them say shake? It says must shake, must gyrate hips while <laughs> shaking. That's right there. Right there in the can. Ah, it's gotta be true. It's gotta be true then.